Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this analytics for beginners tutorial, we are going to be looking at Google Tag Manager versus Google Analytics versus something you may or may not have heard of yet, Google Optimize. So we're going to walk through the basics of each one of those, what they do, what they don't do, and how they interact with each other. And this is something that's going to be really important to you, even if you're just getting started with your online business, having Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics set up is one of the best things you can do for your business, but I'll get to that towards the end of this tutorial and hopefully by the end this will make a whole lot more sense. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now before we do I want to add a little asterisk here to let you know that all three of these are free so you should never be paying a monthly fee to anyone to be able to use any of these tools. So you can definitely go to a site like Upwork or Fiverr to have an expert install them for you but you should never be paying a monthly fee to have them still running on your site. So just wanted to add that. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first one we want to talk about is Google Tag Manager. Now Google Tag Manager is one of the first ones you actually want to install and the simplest way of thinking about it is a virtual file cabinet for all of your tracking codes. So chances are if you've ever played with Facebook advertising or you've looked at Google AdWords or you're trying to figure out this whole Google Analytics thing, you've seen a bunch of different codes that are supposed to go onto your website and all tracking tags and pixels require you to put some sort of code on your website. What Google Tag Manager allows you to do is put one code once and then just be done with it. And then instead of having to go back to your website every time you need to add something new, like a new conversion tracking or a new Facebook event, instead of diving into the HTML of your website, which isn't really all that fun, you can just go to the Google Tag Manager interface and add things wherever you need them to fire or not fire. Once you have Google Tag Manager on your site, you're ready for Google Analytics. Now Google Analytics is what actually tells you what's going on on your website. So Google Tag Manager, all it does is organize stuff for you. It doesn't give you any data. It just helps you stay organized and make sure things fire or don't fire at the right time. Google Analytics is what tells you what's actually happening on your website. So Google Analytics is the tool that's going to tell you how long someone stayed on a page, where people clicked on your website, what traffic source people came from, and we'll also give you some demographic data from Google as well. So when you wanna understand how different pages on your sites are performing, Google Analytics is got your back and will tell you exactly what's happening on different pages. It will also allow you to create some custom reports and some custom event tracking so you can set up some pretty advanced tracking to see how people are engaging and moving through different pages of your site or sales funnel. And speaking of sales funnels, the final one is Google Optimize. Now Google Optimize is a free tool from Google, just like the other two, that allows you to split test page elements. So what's really nice about Google Optimize is it gives you the power of a paid page builder or a paid WordPress split tester. So what's really nice is you don't have to pay a premium to test your landing pages, your sales pages, or even your blog post or homepage. So it very simply works just similar to Google Analytics. You install a piece of code on your site using Google Tag Manager, of course, to stay really organized, and then you can split test different elements on your page. So we'll go through a landing page, for example. A really common landing page conversion optimization technique is to just test the headline, see which headline gets people to opt into a list more or take you up on a buy offer. And so what you can do with Google Optimize is have version one and version two and version one will have your original headline, version two will have the headline that you wanna test, and Google Optimize will automatically show the two landing pages to each one of your visitors, so it will rotate the two landing pages until it figures out which one is going to get you the highest conversion, hence Google Optimize, because it's helping you optimize your pages to ensure that your site is a lean, mean conversion machine. So that does it for Google Tag Manager versus Google Analytics versus Google Optimize. So I'm curious if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I read and reply to every single one. And if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe, because over on the channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch and of course making sure you set up your analytics code is just one small piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your online business and that pro tip that I mentioned at the beginning you definitely definitely want to make sure that even if you're not going to be looking at any one of these tools for a long period of time that you at least add the Google Analytics code to your site that's the most important one what you don't measure cannot be improved go ahead and comment below if you have any questions and as always, keep building the business you love.
Take care.